Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you with 10.12.1. This is our first update in like over a month, major update. We had some minor updates a couple weeks ago, but first major update in over a month. And I'm excited to do our first test, just got it installed, and we'll see how our first drive goes. This road, as you can see, the speed limit is not been fixed yet, but um, that's just map data. Uh, we, of course, we don't have a speed limit sign this for it to change. Things I've already noticed are the lane lines are already, they're clear, uh, even more clear than before. Wow, it sees the car's way up in the hill over there. Uh, my driveway, I didn't show that in the video for privacy reasons, but um, it is um, also clear as a gravel driveway. So the edges of the road are clearer. I've already noticed that as well. Um, smoothness, um, I haven't watched any videos so far. So this is complete my first impressions besides one comment. Uh, that's from Roger. Um, he said uh, it's a lot more assertive. So we're gonna see, see how that is. Yeah, we got a motorcycle here, you can see really easy. That's, there's a explicit comment about motorcycles. Ooh, it braked for that car thinking it was gonna come out. It was coming in pretty fast. So I had to press the accelerator to keep him from braking too hard there. Here's our first speed limit sign. Oh good, that's very good. It slowed down for this car um, perfectly actually. Um, it, it slowed down just enough to maintain good spacing. And you can see the new models on the cars as well. What I'm looking for on this route are a few different areas. The map data isn't great in Saluda, so we're gonna see how it handles poor map data uh, and how it, you know, it um, adjusts from there, if it can make the turn correctly, all that type of stuff. Uh, unfortunately, this car is going slower than the speed limit, so we can't see how well it does going around curves. The bright side is at 38 mile an hour, it's um, handling the curves great. It didn't slow down at all. It's actually, it looks like it's impatient for this car in front of us, which I would be too. Um, but we're gonna see how it does once we get up to this turn here. I'm very curious how this goes for us. But yeah, besides that, while we have a little section, I'm hoping that everyone has a great day. I'm going to be making a lot of videos tomorrow, um, doing our test route, and then uh, as well as that afternoon. Uh, we also have a meetup for Western North Carolina Tesla owners, so we might uh, do some test drives there as well. Let's see how it does. We're going to take a right here. It's going to... Okay, so that's improved. Um, it did slow down a lot more for some reason. Um, but it, uh, it didn't stop. Previously it would stop, and now we have to cancel this. Your destination is on the Oops. <laughs> okay. For some reason, when I navigated here, I wanted to go through Saluda, even through the, the traffic, so I'm not sure why it did that. We're gonna see how well it does on this road. So this is a school zone, and what time is it? I think we're outside of school hours, so I'm not sure that's something I need to worry about. And a little bit close to the edge there, but it's still still acceptable. This road has always been, see right here, you can see, look at this map data. Um, they've gave further improvements in the, uh, in the change logs, saying that uh, you know, lanes that didn't match and stuff would be improved, essentially. And, Oh, we had a tiny blinker right there. Don't need a blinker on. That seems to be a much harder problem than it seems to uh, have good uh, turn the blinkers on at the appropriate time. This is going to be a hard test. If it, uh, this is where it's failed almost every time. It's done it successfully one time. Now turn left onto Gaffney Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? No, no. Well, you're gonna let me back up. <laughs> it didn't make it. Let's go ahead and put a press the camera button. So that's 
the map data is correct um, now. I don't know if that was, I guess, you know, the map data is correct. When they updated it for the 2021 map data, that correct, corrected it. Um, so let's see if we can make it to the end of this road and then we're gonna make a new waypoint for us. And um, have it tell us to get back. Changing lanes. It thinks there's another lane or something interesting. Let's see if we can make it through this tight squeeze here and let's see if it's gonna make the right turn. It's, the, the screen says it's right. Hey, that's the first time it's ever made this. First time it's ever made that turn. It has never made that before. So that's the first. Also, we don't want to go this way. I want to add a, uh, a waypoint right here. Is to get it to turn on that spot. Okay, so that I'm not going to count as a disengagement because it's it clearly freaked out because I rerouted it while we were driving. Um, so that bug is back. So we're not going to count that as an official Main disengagement. Turn West Main Street. Hey, awesome. Good stuff. It is definitely more assertive. I'm on the average profile and I am always on the average profile. Uh, let's see how it does at this uh, bridge up here. We're taking a left uh, at the stop sign. And so normally it doesn't creep well enough. This update says it's supposed to creep better. I'm like, I can, s oh, okay. It stopped for that truck. <laughs> I didn't see that. There's another car coming. Is it gonna wait? No. So that was a disengagement. It didn't wait. It's better than the previous updates. And this is better. So it, it's less hesitant going through intersections. That's good. Um, but uh, it, I noticed that it's better detecting that BMW that went by. I'm pretty sure that was a BMW. But um, it didn't detect it well enough not to try and go into it. Uh, if I had uh, let it try it, I'm sure it would have braked. But that person would have been really pissed off at me. <laughs> so... Not, not good to try that. A really good um, display of graphics of these cars, wow. There's a Tesla right there, charging. There's a new destination charger downtown Saluda. Uh, so if you ever come to Saluda, I highly recommend it. So that is improved. Uh, that flashing yellow would always try and break at that. And so it did not break at that this time. So that has been improved in this version. I would say if there's was less traffic we would only have one disengagement so far but we have the two disengagements and this there's been several improvements so far with this version um so so it's definitely what elon said it's two steps forward one step back um and if i'm going to be honest um i don't think any steps back on this route um that same, that's where it tried to make a left turn and it didn't see that car. Now that turn left was, I don't know the word I'm looking for. It detected it better than the previous version. Still didn't detect it well enough to not try and run into the car. Um, obviously. Um, or look like it was gonna run in the car. Tesla Q, I'm looking at you. I'm gonna take my words out of context. Uh, I'm really, really liking this acceleration. It's like, it's very, smooth to get up to speed um it's not like it's not like flooring it but it's like a it, it's um I don't, I don't know the word i'm looking for if you guys can help me think of that word it's like the, the better g-force it is it's more comfortable on the body if you will it, it doesn't like lunge forward and like you're stomping on it but it doesn't like it's not super timid either i'm actually kind of liking it to be honest Let's see how it does come in around this curve up here. It's not really too much left of this drive. This um, has has enough to give a good test, but we'll see how it does. My goal is that it doesn't really slow down much. And it, it probably saw this truck here. Maybe thought it could have potentially gone out. 
Um, I would have personally not have slowed down coming around that corner, um, but the car did a good job. It didn't, it didn't slow down in a way that I was um, really jerky, and that's uh, what it has done in the past, and it's really uncomfortable. It makes you motion sickness because of rubber bands back and forth. Um, I have not experienced any phantom braking, and <laughs> knock on wood. Um, well, okay, we rephrased that. Oh, yeah, there you go. They had a tiny bit of phantom braking with that car that just passed. Um, the car that came out right here um, did phantom brake um, for that car, but that's because the car was coming out. It thought it was going to come out into my lane. This car was in my lane for a tiny bit and didn't brake at all for it. You could tell it, it. You could tell it knew it was there, but didn't brake. That's going to be the end of this drive, everyone. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I'm very excited to see what our drives are going to be tomorrow. I please uh, subscribe if you aren't, um, and I'll be glad to uh, see your comments down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.